Hi, I'm Joseph Shimizu, Regional Sales Engineer at Sony Electronics. We've created a series of short videos to guide you through some of the features and capabilities of our new PVMX series of 4K HDR professional monitors. This monitor line offers an incredible thousand nits of brightness and covers the array of HDR gammas from S-Log3, HLG to PQ, as well as SDR, and color gamuts from Rec. 709, DCI-P3 to Rec. 2020, with models available in 18, 24, and 32 inch sizes. The PVMX monitors are designed for multi-purpose use in broadcast, location, on-set, truck, and edit suite applications. They have also been specifically designed to color match with our flagship BVM HX310 Master Grading Monitor in order to provide color continuity from production straight through to post. In this segment, we'll be talking about the scopes that are available in the PVMX series of monitors. Scopes are very important tools that can be used in both production and post-production to help you critically evaluate both the luminance of your image, meaning its brightness, as well as its chrominance or color by providing known reference points and measurement tools. It's important to know these things as if we move into the world of HDR. Having properly calibrated and labeled scopes is necessary to ensure accuracy in capturing and editing our images. At the most basic level, it's important to state that just relying on what our own eyes can see can sometimes be fooled by other factors such as ambient light. Again, having scopes to trust can really help out. So what scopes are available in the PVMX series? Included are a waveform monitor and a vector scope, which can be simultaneously displayed with scales appropriate for both HDR and SDR. The scopes change automatically according to the selected EOTF or electro-optical transfer function setting in the monitor. As well, these scopes support signal confirmation of both signal input level and output luminance. The waveform monitor has three different displays, luminance, RGB slash YCBCR parade, and RGB overlay with overexposure or gamut error display. The waveform display also has a line select feature, this allows you to look at what individual lines of video information in the signal are reading. And in addition, we also have an audio level meter that can display the embedded audio signal from either the SDI or HDMI input. And this is shown on the screen in either channel one through eight or nine through 16. A red only, green only, and blue only waveform display can also be shown. Additionally, a waveform monitor slash vector scope zoom display is available, which allows you to look at the bottom 20 or 30% range of the scope in higher resolution. These scopes can also be selected to display in any of the four corners of the screen. The PVMX series can also allow you to view two simultaneous images in quad view, each showing their own scopes for comparison purposes. And their respective scopes can be viewed in the bottom two of the four quadrants. To activate or choose your scopes of choice, simply go into the scopes menu and choose the one that serves your purposes best. As well, don't forget that you can individually assign the vector, waveform monitor, and audio scopes to come up from any of the assignable function buttons. Well, that's a brief overview of the basics of scopes and their functionality that are included in the PVMX series. If you'd like more information on the PVMX series, Please watch the other segments we've posted on some of the other main features of the PVMX series. You can also visit our website at pro.sony.com. Thank you for watching.